Hey everyone, Elisa with Jots Designs, and in this video I'm going to be using some Viva Decor Artline Crackling Color. Uh, it comes in white, black, gold, uh, silver, and clear, and I got it from Laura's Art Corner. There's links below for that and discount codes as well. And I'll be using this 9x12 Art Alternatives MDF panel um, that I picked up on Amazon. And I just wanted to do something simple for this, so I'll include all the links below. Uh, hit that thumbs up button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click that bell notification and check out my Facebook and Instagram feed. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so I decided to uh, spray paint the panel first. So I've got some Sun Yellow uh, Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's a gloss and I just wanted to get the corner up here. And then I've got some Real Orange. It's also glossed and some Satin Oasis Blue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray um, on here the way that I wanted the colors to go. And I noticed it was sinking in just a little bit so I covered it a couple times with each color. And then I did it in my garage because it was snowing outside. Um, so I wanted to also help dry it and warm it up. So I used the hair dryer for that. And I've got a bunch of different plastic palette knives here. I didn't know which one I'd really want to use because this is the first time I've really used this. Um, it's a pretty thick paste. And the thicker, of course, you lay it down, the bigger the cracks will be and the bigger the pieces will be. And so I wanted to uh, definitely show you that with this as well. So first I'm just getting everything good and covered. And then I kind of smoothed it out while also making sure that the corner closest to me had the thickest amount. And I wanted to do a sun just to show that you can also do lines in here. I'm using the knife just to kind of tap the top of the... Um, the paste really and give it a little bit of texture that way it wasn't just kind of even all the way around there was a little texture as it went from larger cracks down to smaller cracks and then i started creating where the little sun would be um realized that my yellow was a lot closer to the corner so i redid that though after the fact i wish i kind of left it the way it, i started it and then i just added extra texture in here, added the lines of the sun rays just to make sure that I'd be getting down to the base as well and you'd see that when it's um, dried and everything else is cracked up. So I'm just going around making those lines again and then I decided I wanted to have the sun part be a little bit thicker so those cracks would definitely be larger and more defined and I wanted this opposite corner um, thinner, so I just thinned it out just a little bit more. And then I grabbed some Buttercup glitter, and I also got this from Laura's Art Corner, and uh, you can find it on her shop as Buttercup uh, Chunky Ho Hollow Glitter. And look at how awesome that is. I love the holographic little glitter parts of that. And this yellow just went perfectly for everything. So I've got a little scoop here and I'm just scooping out some glitter and then tapping the spoon with uh, my other hand. In some places I made a hot mess of it and just kind of fixed those. So I was making a mess of the glitter, uh, cleaning that up, and then I let everything dry overnight and got a good crackle with that. And I'm gonna color it with some Folk Art Ultra Dye Lady Marmalade Orange and Pucker Up Yellow, some Jacquard Pinata Alcohol Ink Sun Bright Yellow, and I got that from the Epoxy Resin Store. And then I've got some Copic Various Ink Refill. It's the Cyanine Blue and I'm just going to add just a drop of each one here. I'm going to start with the yellow and the orange and add just a little bit of water to thin it out even more. And then I'm going to just test the colors, add a little bit of the orange to the yellow so it wasn't super bright to start with. And then I'm just going to coat the top and it's basically a wash with adding the water in there. So it's a little it's very thin, transparent, and you can see that my painting skills are a little weak, but that's okay because it's just a simple project for me here. 
Um, I got that blue alcohol ink there and I added some alcohol to it to thin it out. And then I just added that to the blue sections down here. So I just continued going, filling in the areas. And I used some of that uh, pinata alcohol ink to brighten up the sun area there. And I decided I wanted to fill in the orange just a little bit more and fill in those rays with the orange too, just to bring out that, the warmth out into the blue. And then I'm done. So I just let it dry and you're able to um, seal this with something like a Krylon sealer or even polyurethane clear gloss paint because this will come off. If you don't seal it, the crackle parts will come off. And then you can also resin on top of it as well. So it's really nice that you're able to paint it. You're able to make it all different shapes and sizes just by how thick you have the paste on there and you can see how that goes from really large at the top left down to small little tiny cracks and i love it well i hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll try out this crackle color uh you can check out laura's channel on youtube and she's also doing a video using this as well make sure you subscribe to her channel um she's got some great videos and tips and check out laurasartcorner.net where you can get this, uh, some Lores pigments and powders, and a whole bunch of other little goodies. Um, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to support my channel, there's links for PayPal, Patreon, and my Amazon wish list. All help is greatly appreciated. And check out my shop on jotsdesigns.com and my feeds on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you next week.